Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you how to fix the Connectify error during driver install on Windows 10. Connectify Hotspot is a virtual router software developed by Connectify for Microsoft Windows and it is a very popular software all over the world. But sometimes certain conflicts created by the antivirus or incorrect services settings can cause the Connectify driver install to fail. Fortunately, there are a few solutions, so let's take a look at how to fix this issue in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution is deleting the partial installation. If the installation stopped partway, the first step is to clear the already installed parts that the software managed to copy. To do that, you can just check your program files folder and delete the files from there because when you will install it again freshly, you will need to do that on a clean slate. So make sure to delete all the partial installation files. Another useful solution is uninstalling your third-party antivirus. According to Connectify, this issue may be caused by another application blocking the driver installation. They suggest that Kaspersky antivirus may be the culprit in this case, so if you have it installed, try to uninstall it at least temporarily. You can also solve this issue by disabling the self-defense function in Kaspersky, so make sure you try that too. You can also run a dedicated file from the developer. First of all, you have to download the driver install permissions fix patch file, which I will also post as a link in the description below, save it on your drive and then double click to run the file. It may prompt you for administrator access and you should grant it. Then try running the Connectify installer again. This file was created by the developer to fix the problem with the driver error so the Connectify installer should run smoothly now. And another useful solution is checking if the device install service is not disabled. To do that just click the start button in the lower left corner and simply type services. Then click on the services app. In the services window, just try to find in the list the device install service. Then double click it to open its properties window. Then on the general tab, check if the startup type is not set to disabled. If so, change it to any other option and try running the Connectify installer again. This is because if the device installer service is disabled, that would be the reason why the Connectify app can't install the driver and hence the issue. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.